Yeah. I'm curious to know uh, what maybe a couple of your favorite drum and bass uh, pairs are. Oh, that's a great question. Well, you know, the first one that popped into my head when you said that was uh, Sly Dunbar and Robbie Shakespeare. You know? No. Oh, my God. Mm. Two Jamaican guys. Um, I think they're still working, but they did a lot of stuff in... Um, they came out of that whole Kingston, Jamaica scene, and they were like... Uh, do you know the first Grace Jones album? Oh. Oh, wow. Yeah, I do not either. Out. Okay. I think it's called Night Clubbing. Um that that was when they really sort of came to the attention of like the international you know thing, um, I so them and they 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 did albums with people like Joe Cocker, oh okay, and they, and they brought this sort of Kingston Jamaica. It's not reggae exactly, but a certain sim simplicity and a certain blockiness of mm. you know just very like big round bass and great simple drums. So them, I love Jerry. I love Rick Murata. You know. Mm. We did that show with Rick, didn't we? And you, well, the the Murata show. sandwich, right? Murata sandwich. Yes. I, I was standing between Jerry and Rick. and the, norm, that, Sometimes two drummers is a nightmare, but not with those two because they're both actually in the same, they're in the same pocket. Yeah. No, it's, it's amazing. Um, I couldn't believe yeah, it. Yeah, I couldn't believe it either because they actually kind of, together they make a really incredible drummer. It's amazing. Yeah, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. I, I'm, I'm, I'm standing there and playing with this and I'm thinking... How come I can't hear like loads of flams or weird stuff happening? And there was nothing. It was just it was just so groovy. And they were actually hitting the drums. It's not they you know, sure were, you know. <laughs> yeah. And Rick, so, so yeah, I love what Rick did with with yeah. When well, Rick's the using and, um, he's using those. He, I think Jerry was using sticks, and Rick's using the blast. Right. The whatever the, those are called, like, like canes, hot rods. hot rods, hot rods. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, with the little bundle of little sticks. Yeah, yeah I think Rick. Great combination. I have some video of that. Was yeah. that that was the one in um, Daryl's house? I think was it. Okay. Yeah. Oh, yeah, we, yeah. no, we did. We did more than one though, didn't we? We did. We played in. Um, didn't we play up in Schenectady or something? We that played. one I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, I saw you at uh, with just Jerry at a, was a sky. Something oh, that was the one up in Sky Albany, Loft. Right. Skyloft. Yeah, that was. Oh, just yeah, Jerry. yeah, yeah. That was. Yeah, a, yeah. That's actually a beautiful club. I'm pretty sure we did more than one show with Rick, but I can't. You know, I mean, this is what happens when you get old. It's just like, <laughs> even though something that happened a couple of years ago is a bit of a blur. But um, yeah, your your question about rhythm sections. Um, I tell you what, I really loved. I mean, this is all dating me a bit, but I do. I did love the Wrecking Crew. You know, they did oh, yeah. a lot of great records and. Um, I guess it was, um, oh, shit. Sorry. Oh, that's where. Sorry. You're um, um, I've forgotten the guy's name. I mean, I, and I know it really well. The drummer. Um, um, the Wrecking Crew. Anyway. I'm going to blame it on my age, too. There's the young guy, remember? I, yeah. I can't remember all Hal Blaine. Names. Sorry. Hal Blaine. Hal Blaine. I already feel bad enough that I couldn't remember Nathan Hal Wise. Blaine. <laughs> Great drummer. He's on so many records. You would not believe how many records he's on. He's on all that. Loads of Beach Boys records is Hal Blaine. You know, um, and Glenn Campbell, mm. um, Wichita Lineman, and the bass player is very often Carol Kay, sure, yeah, yeah, yeah. who's great. She was a pick player, and um, I love her bass playing. You know, again, it's it's sort of simple. Wichita Lineman, what a record! Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it just always brings me to tears that record. You know, it's it's there's so much emotion in it, but it also feels great. And when I think it's Glenn actually playing the. Uh, the low guitar solo, and he just plays the tune. And Carol's there going, dum, tuk, dum, dum, you know, and it's just exquisite. So that kind of stuff really gets me, you know, strong emotion. Um, I've played, I've been lucky enough to play with some great drummers, and, you know, a guy called Liam Ginocchi, um, who I work with in, um, he he's on a lot of those Paul Brady records. He's a great drummer. Oh, okay. Um, we work with you know, Jerry Rafferty. Is he? No, but I saw that name in your. Yeah, yeah we we work name. with Jerry together, and um, Jerry Jerry's big hit was Baker Street, which is like, oh, yeah, yeah, you always hear that. But you know, there was more to him than that. And in some ways, that song became like a bit of a millstone around his neck because, I mean, not, not financially, it was great financially, I'm sure, <laughs> but it's like, oh, Baker Street, you know, it's like, yeah, he made a load of other records, you know, and he was a great songwriter and a great singer. But, um, 
So, yeah, rhythm sections. James Jameson, of course. Um, who's the drummer on those Motown records? Uh, um, yeah, I, I don't know off the top yeah. of my head. I think I'm pretty old school. I mean, you know, Duck Dunn and was it Al Foster, yeah. right? Um, who else? Oh, La Larry Graham? Oh, yeah. 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 Uh, I'm not sure. Can't remember the name of the original drum with with. Like, are you talking? Wait, is that Al Jackson that you're talking? Al about? Jackson. Yeah, Sorry, yeah, yeah, I yeah. say Al Foster. Yeah, <laughs> Al Jackson. Yeah, thank you. I figured you were. Um, I know combining one, one of the owls. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Larry Graham was a big influence on me. Um, whoever, whichever drummer he was playing with, those early Graham Central Station records. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Because he was he did we'd, he'd invented slapping really. Yeah. And now it's like oh yeah, everybody does that and it's like how fast can you play?